Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and this is my Frigidaire Gallery Microwave, and it's not working properly, so we're going to go ahead and unplug it. This one continues to run even with the, when you, just as soon as you close the door. So we're going to remove it, and it's just these three screws here in the top. Now this is kind of heavy. If, if possible, it would be great if you had a second set of hands with you. And so basically what you're going to want to do is remove these screws and make sure you're supporting the microwave at the bottom as you do this. Okay, so I'm just using my drill which comes in handy because it unscrews them pretty fast and you can support the microwave from the bottom as you do this. And then you just tilt the microwave down because there's a bracket on the back that uh, this is pivoting on. Uh, make sure that uh, you can get your power cord to come down through uh, the hole in the cabinet as well. And you'll slightly lift up to get it off of that bracket and uh, then just pull the microwave towards you. Careful with that cable because it's coming down through as well. It's kind of a uh, two-person job is uh, definitely a, a better idea. But uh, go ahead and pull the cord through and you're free. Next we've moved the microwave to a workbench area and uh, we're going to go ahead and remove the plate and the little disc that it sits on and everything inside so you don't have that jingling all around. And so now we're going to put the microwave on its back and you can put a towel down or a blanket if you want to, that's very nice. And we're going to go through and just remove all of these screws here on the bottom and uh, that's going to help uh, us get into the case. So uh, with that open, there are some connectors here for the lights. So you can choose to try to pull these off. Uh, what I actually ended up doing instead was uh, unscrewing the light bulbs and uh, that way I didn't have to unplug anything. And so uh, if you want to do that, just come here on the bottom and take the screws out over the light covers. And so then you can see as we pull this down, you have to kind of remove those screws anyway or you won't be able to get these out. But uh, Anyway, uh, you can start to loosen this up now and unscrew the light bulbs out of there. So that way you just have the wires that are hanging in there and this can stay somewhat in place. But I did have to also pinch that cover to get it to, that goes around the light bulb. And next we're just taking out these screws that are here in the top and they're kind of holding this vent in at the top. And uh, also just basically everywhere you can find screws on the case, we're going to go ahead and just start taking these all out. And uh, there's also a little tray type thing at the top for a heat shield at the top. So just take those screws out as well. And so um, now we're kind of leaning it back over on to uh, get to the back side here and just removing those screws. So pretty soon you'll be able to take the cabinet casing off and you got to kind of lift and pry this part to, that has the vent too. But eventually the whole case comes off and uh, now you can look inside and really see all the fun magic that makes a microwave work. So we're going to go ahead and set this uh, cover down gently over here and just get it out of our way. And so uh, next is uh, we want to uh, de-electrify this. So get some needle nose pliers with insulated handles and just put uh, the pliers there on that clip and that will uh, discharge anything that's in the system. Next there's a little cover here that we can take off and there's a screw in the top right here and that's going to the top of the, ma the magnetron so we're going to go ahead and take that off and uh, also here's the magnetron itself you can see and we're just going to uh, basically get in here see where the screwdriver is. I'm just taking that screw out through the top where we remove the cover and that just takes that top bracket off and makes it real easy for us to uh, get the magnetron out without having to unplug a lot of things too. So we're going to go ahead and take that off and if you have a, a magnet to grab these screws that's good. Just be careful that you don't touch the wrong things. But this uh, just kind of comes up out of the way now and it's free. And so now the magnetron has a few screws. There's two on that side and there's one back in here that you can kind of see. It's in there a little tight. And uh, so some of the service manuals require you to remove these other parts next to it. But uh, I was able to get in here and just take out these two screws on this side. And you can see here it was kind of a tight fit, but I was able to unscrew this. Uh, replacing it, maybe we will remove some of these other components, um, which just same thing. They just unscrew. You just have to remember everything that you take off. So here is the magnetron. And uh, it just unplugs from the top there. And so now we're going to go ahead and test it.
So next grab your multimeter. So we're going to use the continuity setting there with a little sound wave and you'll notice it makes a noise when you touch the two ends together. That's a good thing and that would mean that you have a good continuity and so as you touch both ends of the plug you'll hear it beep that's what it should do okay now what you'll want to do now is touch an end to of the plug and then the casing in different areas and so if it makes a noise that's a problem if it's silent that's good you want the noise um, when you're touching just the two connections here you do not want the noise as you put it on each of these prongs for the plug and then touch the case and so that's the way that you can test it if you did hear a sound you would know that uh, you have uh, a short and basically uh, the power that you're sending through the multimeter is not staying within the circuit so you'd have an open circuit so anyway that's how you can test the magnetron and uh, anyway uh, thanks for watching and uh, please like and subscribe if you're new to the channel